A confession prayer for hearers. Sins against Suvan. The god Uzmuzda, the first man, came at the command of all the gods, and ascended with a fivefold god to fight the devil. He fought the evil doing Simu, and the five kinds of devils with him. Then God and the devil, light and darkness, were mixed. The son of God Uzmuzda, the fivefold god, our soul, fought for some time against the devil and was wounded, being mixed with the evil of the leader of all devils, and with, with the evil of the insatiable and shameless devil of greed, and the evil of the one hundred and four myriads of devils, he lost his will and became weak. He completely forgot the land of the immortal gods in which he himself had been created and born, and he was separated from the gods of light. If from that time on, my God, because the evil work in sin you devilishly seduced our intellect and our thoughts, and because we thus became lacking in will and without self-knowledge, we have sinned and erred against the holy light, God Usra, Suvan, the origin and root of all souls of light, and have called in the origin and root of light as well as of darkness, and of God as well as of the devil, if we have said, if anybody quickens, it is God that quickens. If anybody slays, it is God that slays. Or if we have said, He has created the eternal gods. Or if we have said, The God Uwusta and the devil are brothers. Or if we have ever, my God, should have thus spoken very blasphemous words involuntarily, lying to God, and should have committed such egregious sin, then, my God, I repent now, praying to be delivered forgive my sins sins against the god of the sun and the moon jesus of splendor and against the gods and throne in the two palaces of light when one goes to the land of the gods the origin root and meeting place of all the buddhas the place of the pure teaching the abode of the beneficent souls and the source of the light of the world the god of the sun and the moon is it is its front door in order to liberate the fivefold God and to separate light and darkness, they revolve in a circle and light up the four quarters of the world. My God, if we have ever in any way sinned unwittingly against the God of the sun and the moon and the gods who are enthroned in the two palaces of light, and if we have believed, true, mighty and powerful is the God of the sun and the moon, but have also in any way uttered much evil blasphemous speech, saying, the sun and the moon will perish if we have said they rise and set without power if they have power of their own then may they try not to rise or if we have said with regard to our own self we are different from the sun and the moon then we pray for forgiveness of this second involuntary sin forgive my sins sins against the fivefold god god Usta's son the five gods are first the sufferer god Second, the wind god. Third, the light god. Fourth, the water god. Fifth, the fire god. When he fought together with the devil for some time, he was wounded and mixed with darkness, so he could not return to the land of the gods and senses on this earth. The ten-storied heaven above and the eight-layered heaven earth below exist only for the sake of the fivefold god. The fivefold god is the blessing and happiness, the form of a and appearance, the self and the soul, the power and the light, the origin, the root of everything on earth. My God, if we have ever, involuntarily, on account of evil and wickedness, broken or injured the fivefold God, if we inflicted on him the fourteen wounds, if we have in any way tortured and pained the living soul, namely the divine, the, the divine element in food and drink, with our ten serpent-headed fingers, and a thirty-two teeth, and if we have, uh, if we have any, any any way sin against the dry and wet earth, against the five kinds of living beings, against the five kinds of plants, then my God, I now pray to be delivered from sin. Forgive my sin. Sins against the present living messengers of the gods, the Buddhas, the elect. If we have in any way sin involuntarily against the holy elect, who do excellent deeds and bring salvation and if in spite of them calling true messengers of god and buddhas 
and believe that the holy elect are characterized by good deeds we in our ignorance have opposed them when they preach god's law and if we have instructed them by not spreading the doctrine and the law then my god we now repent and pray to be delivered from sin forgive my sins sins against the five kinds of living beings there are sins first against two-legged beings second against four-legged living beings third against living beings that fly fourth against living beings in the water and fifth against living beings creeping on the ground on their bellies if we ever my god have frightened and imitated these five kinds of living beings in any, in any way from the biggest to the smallest and we have be and if we have beaten or wounded them in any way or in any way have pained or tortured them and have killed them in any way then we ourselves owe life to those living beings for the same degree so now my god we pray to be delivered from sin forgive my sins the ten kinds of sins in thought word or deed likewise my god if we should ever have committed the ten kinds of sin in thought word or deed namely if we have ever been false in any way or have committed in perjury in any way if we have acted in any way as a witness for a dishonest person if we have pros prosecuted an innocent person in any way or if we by spreading rumors and by gossip have instigated a person in any way or corrupted his heart and mind if we have practiced black magic in any way if we have killed many living beings in any way if we have cheated and deceived others in any way if we have in any way used another person's goods entrusted to our care if we have done a deed of which the god of the sun and the moon would not approve if we have sinned and erred in any way with the first self and with this self and after having been reborn as men if we have inflicted destruction and ruin somehow on many living beings then my god we now pray to be delivered from the ten kinds of sins forgive my sins unwitting service to the devil and the demon agreed if one ever asks who comes to the way leading to the beginning of the two poisonous paths and the gate of hell answer first it is he who adheres to a wrong teaching and to a wrong law second likewise it is one who worships the devil and addresses him as god if we my god should ever without recognizing understanding the true god and the pure law and without belief when the buddhas the pure elect preached allowing ourselves to be deceived by one who wrongly maintained i am a man of god and a preacher and accepted his words if we have fasted falsely has worshipped falsely in any way have given alms falsely in any way have heard in many in any way doing false and evil deeds saying we do meritorious deeds such as bring salvation and if we when addressing the devil and the demon of greed have worshipped them by killing living beings and if we saying he a buddha should have honored a false doctrine and worshipped it and thus sinned against god if we have served the devil then my god we now repent and pray to be delivered from sin forgive my sins strain from truth ever since we recognize the true god and the pure law we know the doctrine of true principles and three eras we know the light principle the realm of the gods the dark principle the realm of hell and we know what existed previously when there was no earth or heaven we know why god and the devil fought how light and darkness were mixed and who created heaven and earth and furthermore we know why heaven and earth will cease to exist how light and darkness will be separated and what will then be at the end of time in the god ustra suvan in the god of the sun and the moon in the powerful god the fivefold god and in the buddha's messengers we trust we have relied on them and become hearers we have sealed our hearts with the four bright seals firstly love the seal of the god usra second faith the seal of the god of the sun and the moon thirdly fear of god the seal of the fivefold god 
fourthly wisdom, the seal of the Buddhas. My God, if we have let our minds and hearts stray from these four gods, if we have displaced them from their station, and if God's seal should have thus been broken, then, my God, we now pray to be delivered from sin. Forgive my sins. Violations of the Ten Commandments If we have started obeying the Ten Commandments, it was necessary to observe closely three with the mouth, three with the heart, three with the hand, and one with the whole self. My God, if we have voluntary or involuntarily, while living in accordance with fleshly desires, and accepting the words of a bad companion or friend, have, have followed their intentions, or have disturbed our minds with cattle and property, or have in grief and distress broken these Ten Commandments, and in any way had other shortcomings in keeping them. Then, my God, we pray to be delivered from sin. Forgive my sins. Negligence in prayer. There is a rule to direct four prayers to the god Usra, the god of the sun and the moon, the fivefold god, and the Buddhas with complete attention and with an earnest heart, daily. And if we, being negligent and without the fear of God, have not prayed correctly and wholeheartedly, or have not directed our hearts and minds to God while praying, or if our prayers of praise and petition have not reached God in purity, or if we somewhere there was something that obstructed our prayer, then, my God, we now pray to be, to be delivered from sin. Forgive my sins. Negligence in giving alms. There is also the rule that one should give sevenfold alms to the Holy Church, and if the angels gather in the light of the fivefold God, and the gods named call an answer should let the light of the fivefold God, which goes up to heaven and is liberated, come to us, then there is a rule that we should prepare alms carefully and bring them to the church. If we have not been able to give the sevenfold alms to the church in full measure, either because of lack or because we are miserably in giving alms, or if the light of the fivefold God which goes up to heaven and is liberated has been bound by us to house and property, and we have given it to a person of bad conduct, or to an evil being, or if we have spilled or scattered it, or if we have brought the light of God to an evil place, then, my God, we now pray to be delivered from sin. Forgive my sins. Neglect, neglect, negligence in fasting. There's a rule that a hero should observe the Vustanti fast for 50 days in a year, just as the holy elect do. It is necessary to praise God by observing the sacred fast. If we voluntarily or involuntarily have broken the fast with a view to maintaining house and property, or because we are worried about cattle and goods, or because our need and distress mounted, or because the insatiable and shameless demon of greed, or because our heart was devoid of fear of God, or because we were lazy and idle, or if we in fasting have not fasted correctly, according to the religious law and regulation, then, my God, we pray to be delivered from sin, forgive my sins. Failure to Confess Every Monday it is necessary to request God, the Church and the Holy Elect to forgive our offences and sins. If we voluntarily or involuntarily have not gone to receive forgiveness for our sins because we were lazy or ne and negligent or because we used business or another undertaking as a pretext, then, my God, we now pray to be delivered from sin. Forgive my sins. Failure to keep festivals. There is a rule that one should celebrate the seven yib keys in one year, and we are also bound to the commandment concerning the month of fasting. Likewise, we are obliged, after observing the yib keys in fasting, to request the God Buddha, sincerely and with our whole hearts, to forgive our sins for the year at the Bhima. My God, if we have not been able to celebrate the same Yim kiss adequately, or if we have not been able to obey the commandments regarding the month's fasting correctly, and have not at the Bhima, 
been able to celebrate the Yom Kippur fast sincerely and correctly according to the religion and the doctrine, and have not prayed with all, with all our hearts for the forgiveness of our sins in the past year, and have in any way had shortcomings in this respect too, then, my God, we now pray to be delivered from sin. Forgive my sins. Sinful thoughts, words and deeds. Every day we think bad thoughts, speak sinful words which one should not speak, and do deeds which we should not do. Because of evil deeds and sins we incur grief upon ourselves, the light of the fivefold God contained in food which we have eaten in the course of the day goes to the evil place, because we ourselves, our souls, live in love of the insatiable and shameless demon of greed. Therefore, my God, we pray to be delivered from sin. Forgive my sins. My God, we are burdened with faults and sins. We are greatly in debt. We bring constant and permanent agony upon the light of the fivefold God in the dry and wet earth, in the five kinds of living beings, and the five kinds of herbs and trees, because of the insatiable and shameless demon of greed, in thought, word and deed, looking, looking with his eyes, hearing with his ears, speaking with his tongue, grasping with his hands, walking with his feet. Likewise, we are burdened with faults and sins. In view of the Ten Commandments, the sevenfold arms, the th and the three seals, we are hearers in name, but we are unable to fulfill our duties. Likewise, if we have in any way so sinned and erred against the gods of light, the pure law, the men of, and the men of God, and preachers, the holy elect, and if we have not lived in accordance with the doctrine and wisdom communicated by God, if we have broken the hearts of the gods and been unable to celebrate the Yimki, the fast, the prayer, and the command the commandments in accordance with the religion and the doctrine and if we have in any way had shortcomings sinning every day and every month then we pray to the gods of light to the great nous and to the holy elect that we may be delivered from sin forgive my sins amen